Well, hello, my students. The review is a little bit short this week because we really only did two pro uh, two items. We did addition method and we did graphing. So do these two systems by the addition method and then turn me back on. Okay, so I'm going to multiply this one by 3 and this one by 2 to get opposite coefficients for the y. So it would be 9x plus 6y equals 3. And this would be 10x minus 6y equals 16. So now these 6 and minus 6 opposite coefficients. Combine it, it's 19x equals 19. Divide by 19, x is 1. Now I'm going to plug that back in to either here or here to find y. So I'm going to do it into the first one. 2y equals 1. So, uh, subtract 3. I have 2y equals negative 2. So, y equals negative 1. So, it would be 1, negative 1. This one, I'm going to multiply the first equation by 2. The second one, I don't need to. So, I'd have 4x plus 2y equals 12. So I'd have minus 4x minus 2y equals 7. Notice, oh, the x terms drop out, but the y terms also drop out. So it's 0 equals 19. So it would be parallel lines. No solution. Okay, two more problems. Graph these two. Okay, so, now I gave you two systems on the quiz on Wednesday, our last quiz of the quarter. I'm assuming I'll probably give you one, uh, maybe two, just single linear, and then maybe two with the system. So this is minus three, up two over one, up two over one, solid. So is 0 greater than negative 3? Yep. So I'm going to shade this side. Put do this one is 2, down 1 over 2, down 1 over 2, solid. Then is, pick 0, 0 again. Is 0 less than 0 plus 2? Is 0 less than 2? Yepers. So that would be you. And I see the overlapping. So right in there. This one. Now again, if it just says graph, you can choose the way you want to graph it. So uh, I'm going to use X and Y intercept. The X intercept cover up the Y. 2 times 1 is 2, so that would be 1. And then cover up the x for the y-intercept, that'd be y is 2. And it's dashed. Okay, so is 0 greater than 2? Because the origin is not on the line, so I can use it. So we know it's false. 0 is not greater than 2. Then x in the number is a vertical line whose slope is always undefined. So when it's uh, greater than 3, so that'd be to the right. So notice it'd be right in here. So hopefully we all did a good job on those four problems. Hopefully it helps you get ready for the last quiz of the quarter. Woohoo!